sweet November hope you are doing really really well and I hope you are having a pleasant and lovely start to your month of November so I've had a lovely start to my morning today today I restarted my stretching and my exercises that I stopped doing for a while now so after um, my husband Kevin and I got back from our Abuja trip I fell ill and uh, before then I was a little bit consistent in my stretching exercises and the exercises that I'm doing to get a flatter belly <laughs> I must confess I've let myself go so actually I wanted to add a little bit of weight so that I can like you know sculpt uh, sculpt my body so I've actually added some weight but I haven't I haven't sculpt anything yet <laughs> so I was doing some exercises to just you know get my um, so what I really want to focus on is just my belly area to just get a flatter you know belly and just um, strengthen my core you know so I started doing the exercises but after I fell ill I stopped doing it and then all through when I recovered I stopped and frankly I became a little bit lazy <laughs> and I just stopped doing it all together but thankfully this morning I just got motivated so I did a couple of that and hopefully I'll be consistent with it from now on then I used to love um, doing stretching so even when I wasn't working on working on sculpting my body or anything I was I just loved to stretch because it was really relaxing and it just helped to loosen my joints and someone like me that I'm always on my feet like I walk in the kitchen <laughs> like 24 7 you know so I'm always on my feet so I always have like um, my feet always aches me so when I just relax and do some stretching exercises and just stretch out my leg my leg um, area and you know just my joints i just feel a little bit refreshed so i absolutely love doing stretches and guys i just have to get back to doing it because i've actually missed it so we are having a hot weather today <laughs> it's a little bit hot the sun is out it's actually it's a really beautiful day i'm not complaining you guys know that i love my cozy weather but sometimes the sun is necessary like today <laughs> so it's really nice and it's really warm it's a little bit hot but i'm not going to complain i'm thankful to be seeing the month of november and it just means that christmas christmas is close <laughs> so i'm really excited about that so i have a couple of things planned for today let me just grab my to-do list <laughs> Okay, so today I have a lot of computer work to get done. I'm actually behind on some of the things that I wanted to do. So I want to update my two websites. So that's my Nuki's Diaries blog and my um, Nuki's Boutique Cakes um, website. I have a couple of updates to do on those two sites. Then, this part is really exciting. I can't wait to do this one. Um, I want to work today I want to work on my November and December YouTube and Instagram content like I want to know I, want, I, so I have lots of ideas in my head so I just want to put them down the videos that I want to work on actually for Christmas and then the videos I want to work on this month I like to you know just get ahead of that at the beginning of the month so that I'm not just faffing around um, throughout the month I know what I'm working on um, per week and I'm trying to be more consistent you know with my YouTube um, uploads so it just helps when I you know already know what I'll be filming per week so that that one is just you know out of the way then I'm also thinking of baking something really cozy today so it's november we are still in the cozy season <laughs> so i want to bake something cinnamony and something really delicious it's been a while since i've baked for myself and my husband kevin has been you know hinting me that he wants cake <laughs> he wants something baked he wants something to nibble on <laughs> so i'm thinking of baking something today and it's probably going to be a carrot cake or an apple cake I'm not sure yet I'll look at what I have in my fridge and in my pantry and know what I'll be doing um, later today so first things first I want to grab myself um, breakfast and of course a cup of coffee <laughs> 
then after breakfast i'll just um, jump into um, computer work so it's going to be a lovely and beautiful and cozy day today and i'm really looking forward to spending it with you guys so today's cozy outfit for the day is white <laughs> is this all white <laughs> so i have this um my one of my workout tops and this lovely um joggers it's really comfortable it's really light so it's not super thick on days that are um, hot like this and then i just have one of my husband's um, shirts thrown over the top and my cozy slippers So guys, um, just about done with my um, computer work. I'll probably continue later tonight before I go to bed. So I was just thinking that uh, what kind of content would you guys like to see for like November and December, especially Christmas content. So I have a lot of ideas, like I said earlier. So one thing about me is I'm an ideation person. Like, I have no problem coming up with ideas. I come up with ideas for things, businesses, <laughs> you know, things that I want to do really quickly. So, but carrying out the ideas, bringing the ideas to life. Now, that is a completely different ball game. <laughs> so coming up with content ideas is not the issue. Is, you know, are they doable? What can I do? What can I afford to do, you know, right now? And as things are right now, it's really, it's really difficult. Uh, let me not use the word difficult. I don't want to be negative. It's challenging, you know, being a YouTuber at this um, time, at this point in time. The algorithm is not favoring <laughs> small time you know those of us with um, small um, small amount of subscribers and even Instagram so I must confess over the last um, few months I've been a little bit down like mentally because you know I have I have this I have a ton of things that I want to do that I want to share with you guys but the engagement is just uh, it's really <laughs> You know it can be quite depressing you know sometimes so what i've had to do what i've learned to do is to just detach you know from those things like i don't i don't value my worth based on the amount of subscribers i have or based on the amount of followers i have on instagram or based on the amount of people that comment because i actually do get comments from people like in my dms in my inboxing that my content is this my content is beautiful i inspire them you know they love to watch you know my cozy vlogs and stuff like that so those um small amount of people are the ones that keep me going and a few of you guys that actually leave me comments <laughs> you know over here on youtube you guys are the reason and then of course my husband is so supportive like 
it, it just blows me away, you know, how supportive he is. So sometimes when I don't feel like um, putting out any content, I'm like, I'll just take all this energy, take all this time, resources, you know, to film something and nobody even does anything. Nobody takes any action. Nobody engages with it, you know. So I just feel like I'm not going to do anything today. I just want to, you know, do something else. But he will just pull me back up on my feet and just encourage me and tell me, you know, to just keep going. And I feel everybody, you know, goes through this phase, you know, and it's just about, you know, pushing on about just keep doing what you are doing and just um, keep putting out, doing your stuff, being authentic, being you, you know, and just doing the things that you love and just find um, solace in the fact that you are doing the things that you love, the thing that you really want to do. And eventually your people, my people will find me you know and find you so if you are in that place too where you are discouraged <laughs> and you are just you know in limbo you know so that's where i am currently sometimes i don't want to film anything i just feel ah, that's what was the was the point was the essence but i just i just have to keep doing because i i love i love creating content like i wake up every day with ideas in my head what to do for my cozy vlogs what to do for you know content that i want to put on um, instagram so i can't even give up so giving up is not even you know it's not even um is not an option for me because i actually love what i'm doing but it will help you know if you guys leave a comment give this video a thumbs up share with your friends you know and just help Help in any way that you can in your own little way and being a content creator in nigeria in this part of the world is really demanding i know that it's demanding for everybody everywhere they are in the world but our own case is really special <laughs> because we just don't have you know um how like with the system the um the way things work around here is not just favor is not is not is not what's the word i'm looking for doesn't favor you know people in this line of work like the light issue is depressing it's right for people that film content at home the light issue is depressing you spend a lot a lot a lot of money making your space comfortable you know enough to share your world with people um the gadgets that you need <laughs> You know, it, it just, it just, it takes a lot. It takes a whole lot, you know, and sometimes it can be really overwhelming. Sometimes it can be really saddening, you know, when you put in all that effort and nobody even takes any action. But it's good to know that the few that do take action, the few that do, you know, leave comments, that do leave likes are encouraging so they encourage and you know okay i'm on the right track i just need to find my people i just need to find my own audience so guys i'm really sorry <laughs> about the um little rat but i'm just pointing out my heart for you guys to know so it will just it will be helpful you know if you just leave a comment um share with people that you know like this uh, likes this kind of um vlogs this kind of lifestyle vlogs you know and just help help your content creator the people that you love that you love their content help them to just grow help them to become visible your likes goes a long way it costs you nothing to hit that like button it costs you maybe two seconds to leave a thought a, a thoughtful comment you know and it costs you next to nothing you know to do those things but to content creators it's 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 a lot it's everything it's our livelihood you know so it's really help you know if you guys just you know do what you can to help your content creator to help nookies <laughs> to grow okay guys so i didn't end up um having breakfast because i was still i still felt a little bit full and when i started drinking my my coffee <laughs> i felt a little bit full so right now it's currently what's the time it's currently 2 p.m. now, so I'll just go grab myself a snack and we can bake something cozy. So for snack, I just rummaged through my pantry and my fridge. So we haven't done our um, grocery shopping for the month yet. So I don't have I don't have stuff. <laughs> I don't have stuff, so I'm planning on doing that um, maybe this week, hopefully. So, I still have some leftover yogurts. 
that was in my fridge it has become a little bit sour but i don't mind it that's more good bacteria for my gut and then with granola and i think i have um, some strawberries and blueberries in the fridge i'll just grab that so i have my fresh blueberries and i have some strawberries here sorry if this looks a little bit blurry so my camera ran out of battery i forgot to charge it <laughs> so i'm currently using my phone so while i'm in the kitchen let me just show you the granola i've been enjoying so i've shown this in i think two vlogs ago in my last um, grocery haul um, vlog i think but i mentioned there was another granola that i've really been enjoying but they didn't have it and um, last month when i did our grocery shopping but when i went to get um some bathroom things um, last week i found it again and it's this one it's a berry berry granola and what i love especially love aside from the crunch it has a delicious crunch i also love that you can see it has some dried and um, strawberry pieces in it in it I'll probably film a clearer shot of this when my um, battery, my camera battery charges a bit. So this one, really delicious, is from a brand called Familia. I think this is like a pharmaceutical company because I know this name for a pharmacy that is around my area. But this granola is really delicious. So if you find it, try it. I'm sure you love it. And then, of course, this Kellogg's crunchy nut granola with caramelized hazelnuts. Love, love, love. I love that it comes in clusters. I have a granola recipe on my blog, how to make your own granola from um, at home and actually get them to be really crunchy and really, you know, come out in that clusters, you know, that is really nice. <laughs> so if you want a homemade version, you can um, find it in my find it on my blog i'll leave it linked in the description below in case you're interested but sometimes like when i don't have time to make granola this is these two are the ones i enjoy and i'm always in the market for new granola to try so if you guys know i know some people have given me some um some good ones on instagram i'm yet to try them yet <laughs> so if you know more good and delicious crunchy granola for me to try just leave them in the comments and i'll go hunting for them Today's delicious cozy baking is going to be an apple cake. So I have my delicious, delicious pink lady apples here. You can use any apple. My white sugar and brown sugar. Eggs, fresh eggs, made flour. In here I have baking powder and baking soda very important for the coziness um, chopped walnuts so you can use any nuts you have you can even use um, dried fruits so pecans will be really delicious in this in this too if you have co um, toasted coconut you can use use it but I have um, um, crushed walnuts so that's what I'll be using today. So this recipe is originally my carrot cake recipe, but I'm going to switch out the carrot uh, for apple. And this carrot cake, carrot cake recipe is <laughs> like the ultimate carrot cake recipe. It is a well-loved recipe at um, Nuki's Boutique Cakes. My customers absolutely love it. And I'm going to be sharing it. I'm going to be sharing the recipe with you today. So instead of the carrots, like I said, we'll be using our fresh apple. And the number one 
ingredient that makes this cake really delicious really amazing is burnt butter so you just um, melt your butter after melting it you allow it to so you leave it on the on the cooker and let it continue to cook after a while the um, butter will become brown like this at the bottom of the pot you see the milk solids of your butter so once your the butter turns to this beautiful amber color you drain out the um, the butter itself and then discard the milk solids that have accumulated at the bottom and then you have your delicious amazing smelling and um, burnt butter it smells like toasted nuts and this is what is going to take this recipe to another level then I forgot to mention you also need vanilla so as always I will leave it linked in the description below in case you want to make something cozy and delicious for your family Hey guys, so it's later in the evening now and uh, my husband just called me that he's coming home with dinner so I don't have to make anything tonight. So I want to have a relaxing bath and just not cook. <laughs> so I want to take off my makeup now and I'm going to be trying this, um, this tea tree foaming face wash. That I got to just see how it does. And then I also want to try this um, olive natural skincare mask that I got. Oh, I'm going to be using my Nivea Perfect and Radiant Even Tone 3 in 1 Micellar Water to to take off my makeup since I got this I've really been enjoying using it 
so i usually um, follow this up with the face mask but i won't be using that one tonight so i'll use i'll be using the tea tree foaming face wash to just cleanse the face so if you're someone that struggles with acne like me <laughs> i used to have a ton of acne and you can still see the acne scars on my face from um, spots you know that are just clearing out so if you're someone that struggles with um, pimples and acne it's very important that you take off your makeup thoroughly never sleep with makeup on your face <laughs> and always make sure you clean it off you you know thoroughly clean off the makeup so that your face is clean and fresh you know you don't have residue of makeup because those um the residue can clog up your skin clog up, uh, sorry clog up your pores you know which can lead to acne and pimples so this uh, micellar water is a really good product to use to take off your makeup Okay, so most of the makeup has been cleaned off now. So I will move on with the foaming, with the foaming um, face wash. So let's pump it out. So it comes out like this, like it creates like this foam when you pump it out like this. Ooh, it looks good smells good smells really refreshing i like it already so let's see i can see more makeup on my hands that is why you need several layers of cleansing your skin when you're taking off your makeup because one layer is usually not enough and then you have a uh, makeup residue on your face okay that was really refreshing i love the way it feels i feel that my face is really clean now and it has this kind of tingly feel sensation to your skin and i always love um, products hair care products, skincare products that have that tingly feel because for some reason I just feel like my skin is really clean after using them so it's, that is really nice I love this and I recommend for you to use to take off, your, um, take off your makeup and just clean your skin okay next is face mask So it says to leave this on your face for 15 to 20 minutes. So I'll just go ahead to take a relaxing bath now and I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, so I'm done with my relaxing bath and I feel really relaxed <laughs> and my skin feels really soft and clean so that um, face mask is a good one because my skin right now feels really soft so one of the things that it does is it helps to like retain moisture in your skin it makes your skin feel hydrated 
so which is good especially for people that have um, dry skin so i will leave um, that particular mask um, linked in the description in case you are interested and it's actually i forgot to mention that it's black friday this week so jumia is going to be on mega sales so all the products i used i will leave them linked in the description and you can probably wait for when black friday starts so that you can you know take advantage of all the discounts and all the sales that will be happening then i'll probably have a fashion haul a mini fashion haul for you guys in my next um, vlog so you can pick up some pieces some clothing items that will be good for to wear you know this november time and december so i'll just wait for my husband to get home now and we'll have dinner and i still have a little bit of um computer work to do before i go to bed so hope you guys enjoyed spending the day with me so i'm inspired to name this vlog sweet november because that is my prayer for you i wish you a lovely beautiful sweet november and i look forward to sharing more cozy content with you guys so have a lovely rest of the day and i'll see you in my next video bye guys mm -hmm.